at some of the view settings in Inventor. So, so we've uh, basically created this model right here. It could be any, anything. Um, and we let's say that we um, we need to be able to see like some of the hidden lines inside the model. So we want we want to have like two holes in it um, that um, where we're able to. Um, oops. Let's say we want to have a couple holes in it where we're able to um, kind of see what uh, what uh, is intersecting inside the model or how it's intersecting. Okay. All right. So uh, so what we can do here is we can um, I'm going to go ahead and create another uh, extrusion just to just for demonstration purposes. Okay. So uh, so we got our plane here. Whoops. Okay, and we're going to make a sketch, and we're going to go ahead and make a rectangular hole in this uh, plane. Let's make it a square hole. So we got uh, let's make it so a four-inch square hole. Okay, um, and we're going to go ahead and click finish sketch, uh, and then we're going to extrude a hole through it. Okay, and we're going to choose cut. We can do this either place, right? And we want it to go uh, all, okay. And we're gonna go ahead and click OK. All right. So now we have this kind of extrusion here, um, and we also let's go ahead and create another hole. So um, let's say we want a um, another plane. Uh, so we got our plane here. Okay, and we're going to make another sketch. Okay, and now we're going to make another square. Click, pull, click. And let's say this is going to be a one inch hole. Finish sketch. And then we're going to extrude cut again. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cut. And distance is going to be all. And we're going to click OK. All right, so now we have these two holes. We're not really sure how they're interacting. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the visibility on this sketch. What we want to do is we want to go over to view. Okay, now, and what we're going to see here is visual style. Now we can do a lot of things with this, right? We can do uh, all shadows, for example. We can do shadows. Um, see how we have the ground here? So on the bottom there, we can see the shadow of the object on the ground. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Uh, we can do... Uh, we can do reflections. Okay, see how we have a reflection down here? Oops. Okay, so you see how we have a reflection down here? We can actually turn on and off reflections, right? Okay, so you can see just down below the uh, the um, the uh, item there. Okay, so um, so those are a couple things that we can do with uh, with the visibility. Okay, the the main one though is uh, this visual style. Okay, so if you are um, you know if you have a really complicated sketch and you know you kind of just want for speed, you know, we can go to wireframe. Didn't turn off my reflections. It looks like. Okay, we can go to wireframe, right? Okay. Uh, we can also do things like shaded with smooth edges, but the one that is really, or we can go to realistic, we want it really, um, you know, uh, so we can really see a realistic view of that. Usually we combine that with some kind of like um, uh, um, version of like the material. We can, like say if we do this plastic, the material, the actual material itself, see the drop down right here, we change the actual material. The default is generic. Um, if we change the material, though, um, what we can do is we can kind of see what it would look like with the material, different materials. Um, okay, uh, for our purposes, though, the thing that's really most useful, I think, is to do shaded with hidden edges. So notice that we get kind of the best of both worlds here, so we can see the hidden, the hidden features inside the objects. We can also see a realistic uh, view of the object themselves, right? So uh, shaded with hidden edges is my choice for working with stuff. You can also do stuff like monochrome, technical illustration, that type of thing. Um, but I think that shaded with hidden edges is really the way to go.
Okay, it's on the view menu. Good luck.